it's actually something I never thought I was going to do. So let's take one more dip. Come along with me. Most people just take vacations. Just took a seaplane. Kangaroo and alligator. <laughs> but not me. <laughs> I'm Davy Sutton. Guys, check this out. There's a view of Old Jerusalem right behind me. And I'm an explorer. A lover of culture and history. A fun seeker. Adventurer. Tying all of these things together. So this is the former headquarters of the uh, Syrian army. To completely immerse in the country, city, or village. A traveler looking for beyond the usual. The BBI is a long famed for its incomparable sailing conditions and its pristine beaches. But did you know that it's one of the best places in the world for sport? And so that's why I'm here for a jam-packed day full of adventure. Home base was Beef Island in Tortola at the uber exclusive Surf Song Villas. And so, just a short ride away from the docks at Hodges Creek, we chartered a boat. I'm on a boat! <laughs> First stop is snorkeling, but we have to hop off the boat and snorkel. And then we swim, and then we go to a, a cool snorkeling site. Snorkeling near the outer islands is an awesome spot for the pictures hashtag no filter. The shoreland is encased with giant boulders. And under the sea, it's full of surprises. On each turn, new wildlife sightings I could hardly keep up. My LifeProof free power case let me take beautiful photos and video with my cell phone. Yes, this was all shot on my cell phone and I never had to worry about the battery. I'm glad you could join us under the sea. It makes you want to sing that song. Under the sea. Under the sea. Darling, it's better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. Above the sea, the seagulls wanted to play. Okay, we provoked them by throwing bread and chips all around us, but hey, it worked. Our little boat can only take us so far, so if we wanted to move on to the next adventure, we had to swim it. And I was kind of pooped, so I kayaked it over. No judgment here. I took photos for the rest of the group, and I held their things if they needed me to. Ashore, the rocky shoreline of the southwestern tip of Virgin Gorda, it is absolutely breathtaking. It's the baths in the caves headed towards Devil's Bay. There's seven acres of the national park that includes massive granite boulders as large as 40 feet in diameter.
A walk inside the caves reveal huge rocks mysteriously stacked from high to low. This is not for the folks who are claustrophobic. The baths inside the caves are so magnificent. They're like art and they're perfect for photo shoots, which everyone else seemed to have the same idea. So be sure to get there early to beat the crowds. From snorkeling to the hike through the caves, it's about a half day excursion, so it's totally doable, even as a port stop for cruise ship passengers with some planning. Oh, and on our way back, we stopped at this historic fueling station, not for gas, but because it's so cute. And that means time for more pictures, selfies, and photo shoots. Cause you know, I gotta do it for the gram. For extra bits of this trip and handy dandy travel tips, visit my lifestyle guide, The Daily Affair, www.daily-affair.com. Next time on Beyond the Usual, I take you to the best views of the island. And it's not by helicopter or airplane.